It's KM4YB and thanks for clicking on the video and here I'm going to give a demonstration of how I uh, manufacture the parts that goes on the keys that I make. I'm making thumb wheels, knurled edge, about an eighth of an inch wide with an 832 hole. This will be done in another operation after I make the run of parts here. And the lathe that I'm using is a Hardage DV59 that's been modified. Parts, the main parts of the lathe has been made onto a chassis here that's like a bench model and it has a DC motor in it so the variable speed electronically rather than mechanically pulley. And of course it runs on single phase power and you know, now weighs 800 pounds less than what it did. So to make the video short and we're going to make a demonstration of how I make this is a turret lathe or a cat span that's usually referred to in Europe it has six positions with six different tools that I'll go through the process here is the, how I advance a lever on the back end there are stops for the depth that I need to have the depth stop it uses a 5c collet system it's old as the hills and there's a lever here. This is the main attraction for this lathe for me is to have this collar uh, lever closer and uh, it'll grab and keep the stock around the I have fully covered to one inch. And so the process starts with, with is a puller here. And it's a simple little tool with stock with the whole size drilled through for the material that I'm working with and then I use a slit saw and then I use a circlip ring to keep the tension on the stock. So when I go and grab and I release the collet, I pull the stock out. Close the collet, so I pull the puller off. This is the step stop. This is basically a piece of material with a slight counter bore so burrs don't give me a altered uh, dimension. And so I'm now ready to start with the process. Turn the machine on. Start the center drill. Center drill set of control stops that I don't plow into, making an oversized bevel. Now I come in with the drill. It's the number 29. Go in and make my step. Now I come in with the tapping head. This is a releasing tapping head that uh, I will, will commonly use. Sometimes I don't, but this makes it where I'm using blind hole threading. Makes it very convenient. And I'll slow down here and I'll show you. So as I make the, the control in, I pull back. So now it's freewheeling until I reverse the machine and it backs out. So with that procedure done, now I'll go to the knurl. This is a T8 knurling head. This is how I make the knurls, quick and easy. Now next is I start the parting tool. Start the part. Now I come in with my bevel on the side. It has a controlled stop. I come off the finishing my cut, the parting off the material, and I have my part. Yeah. There it is. Well, that's what I'm doing Saturday night here in Largo, Florida. So thanks for showing. Uh, thanks for watching the video. And 73 KN4YB.